Hey, welcome back to another episode of Classics Are Better, everybody. I'm Travis, and today we are putting new belts on my 68 Impala. Uh, it is a 307 small block Chevy motor, so this should pretty much carry over to any kind of Chevy small block. Let's get to it. All right, so like I was saying before, we are changing the belts on my Impala today, slash any kind of small block Chevy. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, but it should be pretty cross applicable to most old school motors. So anyway, let's get to this. All right, so the kind of mechanics of what we're doing here is we're gonna replace these belts from the front to the rear. Uh, so for me, that means starting with the power steering belt here, going to the AC belt and then going here to the water pump and alternator belt that I'm just calling the serpentine belt even though they're all serpentine belts. Um, for the adapter or for the alternator you're gonna just um, loosen this little adapter here so that you can move it. Uh, I like to put a little line on here with a pencil just so I have something to line back up to or like a sharpie whatever you want to use uh, but that way you know where to go when you're putting it back. Same thing here for the AC compressor. You just loosen it up so that you can get the belt off of there and then loop the new one on, push it back, either using a crowbar or a screwdriver or just, you know, muscles, whatever you want to do. So I should say to get some of these belts on, you're going to have to loop them over the fan. The two bolts, there's one here in the back and one down here in the bottom, enough that I can get this loose. And then when I tighten it up at the end, I'll just put a crowbar in this uh, edge right here and be extremely careful pressing against this reservoir and try and get it back where I can tighten it. So here's the bottom bolt holding on the power steering pump. Okay, so now that I have the uh, bottom bolt and the rear bolt on the power steering pump reservoir here, I should be able to slide this over and get some slack on this hose. So fingers crossed. Okay, now that this is pushed in some, this should be loose enough to get off of here. lots of um, little cracks and stuff in it that is not what you want because at any point that could just pop right out and just break under load while you're driving all right so next step is going to be loosening the ac compressor here so we can get this belt off uh, there's an adjuster screw right here again i used a sharpie or and a pencil right back here as well so i found two more mounting spots for the compressor here there is a bolt right here I loosened up, and there's another one back here on the back of this hanger that I had to loosen up. So now what I am gonna do is get my crowbar into this metal spot behind this support, and then as you can, oop, get it the right way. And then that way I'm not pressing on anything too vital, and gently I'm gonna shift this up a little. And as you can see, that makes a little slack in the line. get this off one side boom all right so the next thing we're going to do is get this very last belt off here for the water pump and the alternator flex on yeah see now just move this ever so gently just enough to try and get this belt off of here and then this one, just like the previous, just gotta work it around the fan. Got all the old nasty belts off that were cracking and icky. Some of them were way worse than I had thought they were, especially the power steering pump. Um, install is just gonna be opposite of uninstall. We'll start from the back, zip everything up, and move our way forward. So one little quick tip, my friends, is if you get your belts out whole without chopping them up, you can either take them with you to the store to buy a new belt, or if you bought a new one previously, before you start messing with it too much, uh, you can hold it out. It's kind of hard to do with the camera in my hand, but I held this, it's the same size, but. Looking good. 
this old bad boy up and see how it does. There we go. Well, success guys. Got all three belts on, no real big issues. Um, everything is in, it's snug, nothing was chirping at me. Now, granted, when you drive this around, those belts are gonna get hot and cold, hot and cold, so they could stretch out just a little. So if it starts chirping on you, that's just the belt slipping a little bit because it's not tight enough. Uh, use those adjustment points, tighten it up a little bit, and you should be good to go. Other than that, thank you guys, as always, for watching another Classics Are Better. I appreciate it. Get out in your garage, get wrenching if you can. Till next time, my friends, take it easy.